people keep telling us that the offensive around Alcocer and the ensuing clashes and shelling of the villages um, in the surrounding areas um, have led to um, a lot of uh, displacement inside Syria and a continuing um, flow of people traumatized uh, in, into Lebanon. Um, during the battle itself, those numbers reduced. Now that the battle has ended, we're seeing more and more people coming into Lebanon. Uh, more and more people who are coming are, are wounded. And um, so far we've counted of the wounded and hundreds of wounded, um, about 60 children. And with that, uh, thank you very much for the these people are extremely traumatized. Um, children were describing how it had taken a long time for their eyes to get accustomed to sunlight because they had spent so much time underground when they were in Kusair. An area of major concern is eastern rural Damascus, where several locations are increasingly difficult to reach with assistance. Two days ago, the UN country team in Syria issued a statement calling for urgent access to around 1.2 million people in need of humanitarian assistance in rural Damascus. The statement noted that despite three official requests, UN-led convoys heading to Mwad Hamia, where around 5,000 families have been stranded for months due to ongoing hostilities, have been rescheduled seven times since March. L'équipe d'évaluation a noté un gros problème au niveau de l'eau et de l'assainissement dans les sites euh, visités. On voit jusqu'à 400 réfugiés qui utilisent une seule et même latrine, une toilette pour jusqu'à 400 réfugiés. En moyenne, entre 70 et 400 réfugiés pour une seule latrine. Euh, L'accès à l'eau et à la mauvaise hygiène personnelle ont donné lieu à divers problèmes de santé y compris un nombre croissant de cas de galles dans deux sites de euh, Saïda. L'association Nouveau Multilatéral dans les futurs, c'est plutôt... Euh... Merci beaucoup, donc on continue, Mélissa, madame la présidente. 45 en salle de presse, une. Alors concernant donc, euh, les activités de l'OMC, 